All right, the other thing that we could try is, and I don't have this in the previous code, but I'd like to try it here anyway, and that is when we have the left key down and the go left flag is being um, executed, and then we turn the go left flag to true, what we could do is we could say, well, we're going to turn that to true, then paste, 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 and we could take the right and the up and the down and set those all back to false and see if that works, right? Kind of an opposite play. So when when the go left flag equal equals false, the hero dot go to and play go left. We set this to true, but these other ones to false, and we could give that a try and see if that has a nice effect and enables uh, the result that we want. And so on this next one, it's a go right equals true. And we can just set the other ones to false. Copy, paste, and we say we set all the other ones to false. Right? Left, up, and down go to false. Right goes to true. All right, the next one is go up. So we'll copy all of those. And Just get rid of the up. Set those other ones to false. And last but not least, we'll do this last one. Copy paste. and then try it out. So he walks left, walks right, up, down, and the feet are moving, and it is working. And um, the frame rate per second is 35, 30 frames per second. Here I click on the background, FPS 30, that's what I wanted. And feet move up, left, right, and down and we've solved the problem and yeah I'm pretty pleased with that file save last but not least the hero key up function so this hero key up function executes when our key listener has an on key up event when we lift up the key so we're not touching the keys. What happens? Well, that's going to be easy. What we'll do is I'll copy all this and paste it. Okay, I don't need that extra blank line here. And we'll say hero dot go to and capital S stop stand, the stand label, standing position. So when the key is up, we make him go and stop in the standing position, and we set the go down, the up, the right, the left flags, all to false. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, save, play, and he goes up, and then goes back to standing position. Goes right, standing position. Right, standing position, left, standing position. Down, let go, back to standing position. Okay. So when we let go, he returns to the face front position. All right, and I like that. So that's it for our um, key movement. And probably the next thing we need to do is have our character shoot lasers. So we'll do that in the next video.
okay, I started thinking that if the character it goes down and then comes back to standing position, goes right, and then jumps back to front position, goes up, front position, right, front position. Wouldn't it be cool if he, if he goes right and you let go, he stays facing right. If he goes left, you let go, he stays facing left, that kind of thing. It goes up, he doesn't flip back to the front every time you let go. I thought, well, you know, maybe that would be cool. Instead of having him, every time he changes position, he flips back to the face front position, right, that kind of thing. So I thought, you know, how would we do that? Well, that's pretty easy to do in code. So this is the way it looked before. On the function hero key up, we have him immediately go to and stop in the stand position. So that's where he faces front every time you let go of the key, the arrow keys. And then we set the variables go down, flag, go up, flag, go right, flag, go left, flag, all to false, right? Make them equal. Now, when there's one equal sign, it's an assignment situation. So the variable now equals false, right? If there's two equals inside of a condition, like in this one, in this conditional statement, if k equal equals 40, that's a question. Does k equal 40? And this is going to evaluate to either true or false. If it evaluates to true, we go down into the code and go to the next level. Right, and then if this if 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 conditional statement if the go down flag if is is the go down flag equal to false that's what the double equal sign does it tests equality so it's, this is a question basically is the go down flag equal to false if it is then we get to execute the next four lines or five lines or ten lines if it's not we skip to the next part we skip out of the if condition this if statement. So anyway, what I did was, is I'll show you, I commented out this line, okay, and I wrote in some code. I've got it commented out here, and then I'll just pop it in, and you can see it. Cut, paste, all right, and what it is, is I put in, this is, I commented it out, if you want to do a multi-line comment, what you do is you put a, well, I'll show you. You can put a forward slash and an asterisk, and then where you want it to end, you put an asterisk and a forward slash, and that will comment out multiple lines of code, okay? It's kind of, it's the same, I think, in um, C++. And in a, probably a bunch of other uh, languages as well. So what I did was, is I said, instead of making him immediately go to the stand position, if go up flag equal equals true. So this is a question. Does the go up flag equal true? If it does, then make him stop in the go up position. Go to and stop in the up position instead of playing there. And then I did some else ifs here. So depending on where the last position he was, and then afterwards we set everything to false. So in other words, in the last position, let's say go left. If the go left flag equal equals false, we play go left, and then we the go left flag is then set to true, so uh, to disable it, and then the other ones are set to false. So the go left flag is still equal to true. So I thought, well, all we have to do is test for that here, and then we can do that. Now, when you play the movie, you can see he goes to the left when you let go, he stays in the left position. Goes to the right, let go, he stays in the right position. Back, and then forward, and he stays in those positions depending on which way he's facing. He doesn't necessarily face front, only if he's moving to the front. And maybe that's better, maybe it's not, I don't know. But I thought I'd try that out and see how I liked it. And here it is. If you like it, you can keep it in. If not, you just uncomment this line and comment out these lines, and you're all set.